It is Saturday afternoon here in Beirut. I just did a little bit of my laundry. I changed rooms here. It's a little better. Um, you know, it's still a single room with a little more space here, a little foyer, a little entryway. Nice little bathroom. Nice little shower. Uh, but we're not gonna stay here for long. Um, I'm gonna head up the coast up north to a city called Batroun. Um, and then we're gonna end up, I think, in Tripoli, Lebanon's second largest city. Um, and yeah, I think we're gonna take a bus up there. We'll see though. And so, yeah, stay tuned because it's very quiet here in Beirut. It's just a very, very chill Saturday afternoon. All right, I got on the bus. And it wasn't that straightforward. Uh, I called an Uber from my hotel to the bus station. And you can see there's no U-turn really on this road. And so the taxi driver said, um, you know, I overshot the bus station. And then he flagged down this random bus um, that is supposedly going to where we're supposed to go. So I got off the taxi and that's where we ended up uh, on this pretty empty bus here. So, you know, it's an adventure. We'll see where we end up. So we made it to Batroun and uh, they just dropped me off here and we'll see, we'll see where we end up. I think the ocean is that way, so let's have a look. We're walking into town now, I think, I mean I would assume. You can sort of see the water out that way, so I think there's, a, there's like a center of town that's pretty cool, right? So that's where I'm trying to go um, and we'll check it out for a little bit, maybe we'll sit down and get some food. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. All right, here we see uh, signs for the old souks this way. We are, I think, closer to the center of Batroun and you can tell the atmosphere is a little different from Beirut. Looks a little more traditional. I think people are a little more upbeat. Um, I think Beirut's just been crushed by, uh, by everything, right? So, you know, but people here seem pretty cool. Super nice. Yeah, you can definitely see that uh, this might have been built for leisure, maybe. It says the city center there. People are driving around in golf carts. You can see over there. Uh, I think you can rent those. Let's see. Let's walk around here, see what's happening. Like a statue of a, I think that's a scuba diver. Thought that was an astronaut for a second. Yeah, see, it's super lovely over here. What is it? It's Saturday, so yeah, sort of quiet, but that's all right. All right, so I think that's the. Uh, we're coming from the. Uh, I don't know the city center. Um, super charming, super nice. Uh, this is, I think, an old ass church. And the ocean, oh yeah, there's the ocean right there. So, looking good, it's looking good. Looks like they do a scuba diving here. The lighthouse is out there, it's a little port here. So I was looking for like a seaside like bar or something like that, but um, I don't see anything here. Maybe over there, but yeah, I might stop and get a drink over here in the city center, but really I think I'm gonna make my way up to uh, Tripoli, uh, Lebanon, second biggest city. And uh, basically we just go from where we came from, hop on a bus and uh, get on over to uh, Tripoli. All right, we're at the edge of town now and uh, you walk down these steps to the bottom and you just wait on the side of the highway until a bus comes and picks you up to Tripoli. So that's what we're doing, we're going to Tripoli. Uh, oh, you can see there's a bus stop here, but you better watch your step because uh, you can get hurt. You can definitely get hurt in many ways here. All right, we just made it to Tripoli off of one of these vans. They cram literally, literally 14 people into that van. It's uh, very hard to move around. So this is Tripoli here, second largest city in Lebanon. They're very famous for their sweets. 
Let's see what else they have. Over here, Tamina, yeah? Okay, thank you. Very nice people here. Shots, shops, shots, shots. Maybe we'll go do some shots. So I do think Tripoli is, uh, it's a little more wild than Beirut, actually. I don't know, it seems like Beirut's like very quiet and whatnot, right? But maybe it's just that part of town. I think we're walking this way. My hotel is this way, I think. So we're gonna go check it out. Good morning, or actually good afternoon. It is Sunday. It's already one o'clock and I slept a lot. I slept a lot. I came in here about seven o'clock. So the view outside. And I was trying to uh, set an alarm for 10 so I could go out and check out the nightlife here. And uh, the alarm went off and I hit snooze and I went to sleep till like three in the morning. Um, and then I realized all the power was out because it's Lebanon and uh, all the mosques started singing, you know, Allah Akbar. And um, yeah, um, I was up until like six till the sun came up and then I went back to sleep and here we are. So it was like 13 hours of sleep. It's crazy. But we're going to go out. We're going to check out what's going on, get some food, and uh, see what's going on here in Tripoli. All right, so this is right outside the hotel and not 20 feet from the hotel. Well, literally probably like 120 feet from the hotel. Uh, apparently, it's the best breakfast in all of Lebanon, so we will check it out. Uh, it's got to be this, right? Uh, it's sort of empty, but we'll check it out. I think it's called Tic Tac. It has to be, right? I don't see anything else here. Let's go over here. Yeah, I know, I think that's what it is. All right, we'll check it out. All right, this is the situation here. We've got eggs with meat and some hot sauce. I don't know how spicy this is. We'll give it a go though. The scrambled eggs with meat, it's pretty good. We got the hummus here. Can't go wrong with hummus ever. Very nice. And you have the standard mint and tomatoes and onions. This is what's happening here, always. It's great, the food here in Lebanon is always great. All right, so we're walking around uh, Tripoli. I think this is actually called El Mina. And uh, yeah, it's a, a quiet, sleepy Sunday. Yeah, definitely uh, this part of Lebanon has the more uh, Middle Eastern feel and people are just more chill. It's more lively here. Despite the fact that it's still quiet, people are uh, more, um, you tell, people are more upbeat. Hey, how you doing? Salam alaikum. Hello, alaikum salam. How are you? Korea. 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 Yeah. Korea, Lebanon. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Go look inside. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. The store. Yeah. Very nice. Muslim. No, I'm not Muslim. Muslim. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. 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 I see people are smiling. Kids are playing football. It's all happening here, right? It's, um, there's a sense of, uh, I think normalcy might be the right word, right? Whereas in, uh, Beirut, I love Beirut, actually. There's a place in my heart for Beirut, but right now, that's not the place to be, I don't think. We are in one of the central squares here in Tripoli. I think one of the surprising things is there aren't that many squares or little parks or open areas like this in Lebanon, in Tripoli, in Beirut too. But here we are. I think there's an old citadel over here that I heard is worth seeing. But here's the deal is 
Um, I think I'm in a race against the sun. I do want to get to Bibelos, which is another beach town down closer towards Beirut. And uh, yeah, maybe catch the sunset from there. But these are the scenes here in Tripoli. Let's not get killed. No cars coming though. And it's a cool town. It's, it's sort of uh, like this everywhere around. People hanging out. People are much friendlier here and much more upbeat, as I said earlier, uh, here than in Beirut. I think, Be you know, Beirut just went through so much, right? So, yeah, this is what's happening here. We just got in a van out of town and uh, we're headed south. All right, so the van blew past Biblos and so we're in Beirut. Um, I think my desire to see Biblos was not as big as my desire to uh, not cause a scene and start yelling at people and telling people, hey, stop the fucking bus. So, yeah, we're here in Beirut. I don't know where exactly in Beirut, but somewhere in Beirut. And so it looks like a mosque over there. Just shops over here. So... Yeah, um, the good thing about Lebanon is it's very small, right? So that took about an hour and a half. And I think it took about an hour to get from uh, Tripoli, the middle of Tripoli to the, uh, the edge, the northern edge of Beirut. Um, so yeah, I think now we're in like the middle of Beirut. So this is where we are, have a look. It's probably about six o'clock. 5.30, something like that. Bunch of uh, liquor stores and stuff. So this is probably like a Christian area of Beirut. So, yeah, if you want to travel up and down the coast of Lebanon, uh, yeah, you just got to get on the those vans there. And if you really want to get off somewhere, then, you know, you really need to tell them, this is where I'm getting off. So, yeah, lesson learned. Um, I heard that Biblos is a lot like Batroun, but bigger. Right, so that's what that looks like. Ready for the party, the liquor store. So hey, they're ready for the party. Let's see what's going on here. It looks like sunflower seeds. Usually that's what those machines are for. The cell phone store. All right, so thank you for watching. We made it back to Beirut. Uh, unplanned, but it's okay. It's like. It's like a auto repair shop, so yeah.